In this video, I'm going to be talking about differentiating inverse trig functions. So for example, y is equal to sine inverse of x, y is equal to cos inverse of x, and of course, finally, uh, tan inverse of x. Now, for this tutorial, you need to have a bit of uh, pre-knowledge, uh, and what you really need to know is how to do implicit differentiation. So uh, if you don't know what this is, go look it up. I will probably do a tutorial on this later. Uh, but for now you need to know what it is okay so let's start off with the first one y is equal to sine inverse of x I'm actually not going to differentiate that straight away right so instead I'm actually going to do uh, sine of y is equal to x and I'm going to use implicit differentiation on this so when I differentiate sine I end up getting cos of y right and remember in implicit differentiation anytime you differentiate y you need to multiply that by y dash. Okay, so that's really all there is to implicit differentiation. And when I differentiate this side, I end up getting equal to one. Okay, so y dash is equal to one on cos of y. All right, so now, now the question is, how do I convert this cos y into a function of x, all right? And to do that, I'm, I'm going to go back here. So this is really what the clue is. Sine y is equal to x. Let me draw a little triangle for you. So that's going to be a bit wonky, but bear with me. Okay. I'm going to call this angle y. Okay. What, what's, what it's saying is that sine y is equal to x. So remember, sine is opposite on hypotenuse. Effectively, you can do this x on one, right? So sine y is x on one. So you can write this way. If sine y is that, what's this going to be? So you just need to use a bit of Pythagoras and you can end up seeing that this is equal to <coughs> one minus x squared. Okay, so this one minus x squared. So therefore cos y is simply equal to square root one minus x squared. Okay, so now you can sub this in back in here and end up saying y dash is equal to one on square root one minus x squared. Okay, and there you go. So that's how you differentiate sine inverse of x. Now, how do you differentiate cos inverse of x? All right, so the question is, how do I end up differentiating y is equal to cos inverse of x? Now, you might be inclined to do the same technique that we did before. So draw the time triangle and try to figure it out. But I'm actually going to use a bit of a trick. So let me let me think of this as u is equal to cos inverse of x instead. Okay, so let me draw my uh, draw another triangle. So maybe use a different color. Uh, okay. Forgive my wonkiness, but anyway. Um, so I'm going to call this one u this time. All right, so it's cos inverse of x. So again, this is adjacent on hypotenuse, so this x on one, and looks like we're getting the same triangle as before. So we end up getting one minus x squared again. Uh, but this time, if you can notice this u, because it's a right angle triangle, it's 90 minus this guy, right? So 90 degrees, or because I, I want to work in radians, I'm gonna say pi on two minus, uh, so sorry, this angle is pi on two minus u, right? But that that angle over there is the same as y up here, right? So that's the same as y up there. So what you can end up saying is, instead of differentiating y is equal to cos inverse of x, what I can say this is this is the same as me differentiate differentiating y is equal to pi on two minus sine inverse of x. Okay, so sorry. So if I call this if I call this guy y, this thing over here is pi on two minus y, right? So differentiating, so me this cos inverse x function is the same as pi on two minus sine inverse of x. So that is what you need to understand, right? So once we have this thing, now it really becomes easy to differentiate this. So now. I can just say pi on two differentiated zero, so I need I don't need to worry about that. So y dash is going to end up being minus one on one minus x squared, all right? And all thanks to just differentiating 
sine inverse. We can just borrow that result. Okay, the last one uh, that we need to do is y is equal to tan inverse of x. Okay, so for this one, I think I have to end up using the, the triangle again. Um, so I'm going to end up saying tan of y is equal to x, right? Do implicit differentiation as before, so I will end up having sec squared y times y dash is equal to 1. So y dash is equal to 1 on sec squared of y. But I can simplify this further, because remember, sec squared is by definition 1 on cos, right? So because of that, this is equal to cos squared of y. All right, so let's let's draw a little triangle. So uh, so in the triangle this time, what I'm saying is that tan of y, tan of y is equal to x. So tan is uh, opposite on adjacent, right? So this time it's going to be x on 1, right? So using using Pythagoras, again, this is going to be uh, 1 plus x squared. Okay, so this time, cos of y, so it's, it's a slightly, it's a, the triangle this time is actually different because uh, tan is opposite or adjacent. I had to write x over here and 1 over here. Okay, so it was, it was slightly different. So cos y is equal to its uh, opposite on hypotenuse. So we will end up getting x on square root 1 plus x squared. And all I have to do is sub it back in here. So my final answer is going to be y dash is going to be uh, x squared on 1 plus x squared. All right, uh, so, sorry, I made a really critical error over here, and that's uh, cos of y, it's a really silly mistake, it's supposed to be 1 on uh, square root of 1 plus x squared, so you will end up getting uh, not x squared, but 1 on 1 plus x squared. Okay, so that's, that's it for uh, differentiating uh, inverse trig functions. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but thanks for listening.